Hello there, everybody. This is James. Welcome back to Corby Town FC. So, we're starting on transfers because even though I said there were, probably wasn't going to be any other work uh, business done, I, I I did a few more things. Um, just got a few a loan, another loan and transfer before the end of the window, and I figured we'd start off by letting me show you them now before we go into the game. <laughs> First one is. Yes, this I, I to prove it to you, I did not nickname him. This is what his name is. It's Joel Jellyman. Joe Jellyman from Chesterfield. I don't know what you're doing up there, Chesterfield, but Joe Jellyman on loan from Fulham. He is a six foot tall, six foot six, uh, left footed center back. He's basically the Podar replacement. Uh, I mean, we're paying his wages. It's not too much, you know, we had the money to do it. He can be recalled, loan could be terminated, can play in cup matches. Uh, I told them that I'd play him as central defender. Plank was a ball-winning midfielder, a ball-winning defender. It's all right, though. But just all in all, a good kind of solid center back. And if we compared with, I don't think I can pull up Podar anymore. I can't. Well, anyways, he is the he is the Podar replacement. We have a jump and reach of 18 and six foot six um it doesn't matter what his heading is it really doesn't because he's just gonna just, just knock it around man it's great and so yeah i'm really happy with the signing he would come and sign for us he has some interest in joining our club and i think if we keep playing him and do that we might be able to get him in here as a good rotational option at center back uh but as a as you can see here as a ball playing defender he's not horrible he's got some work he's got to do but you know the jumping reach he's got some he's got some stuff he positions himself really well and he can tackle okay but we got to work on that marking and but the strength and the jumping reach he's just a monster in the box and last but not least is ray last yes i did think about that joke yes i am happy with myself about it you can't take that away from me this guy is just a, he was 5, uh, uh, 500,000 pounds. A Vanarama National could be potential to be a lot better. A Sky Bet League One right winger of the future. Which, you want to know what? From what I was looking at, this guy can play across the front and in midfield if need be. He's kind of just a good Swiss Army Knife kind of player. And the fact that we're in four, well, now, now three, God, I hate penalties. Four, we were in four, now in three competitions still. Um, it's just a great rotational option to have. If you look at him on his, the position we'd want to play him as, an inverted winger, not the quickest, but he's got good first touch. He's got the decision, off the ball, vision, work rate, technique, and passing is all there. So as a passing of the passer of the ball, he's good. He gets forward whenever possible, plays one, two, and looks for the pass rather than to attempt to score. So... You know, that four finishing isn't going to hurt him. It's going to rely on his passing, his work rate. So, you know, getting forge, running down the wings. He's from Shamrock Rovers. Uh, we're looking at another person from Shamrock Rovers, but we won't see him until January. That's if uh, that's if our boy Fraser Roche goes. And then the only other one is uh, Antonio Pedro went to working on loan for the season. Which is good. I mean, we brought him in. And then we obviously improved the left wing position. So now he is just getting some work in. And you can see, I think they're, they're playing him as an inside four. I don't care what they're playing him as. They're playing him on the left. But he's getting some nice development. And uh, hopefully we'll come back and we'll have a little bit of a better player there. Pedro Azawa. Oh, and here's our two other guys. Uh, you'll see these guys in January. We'll talk about them then. Until then, you saw nothing. You saw nothing, and let's talk about where we've been since you've been gone, since you've been here. You saw the wonder that was the Brighton game. Then we played Bolton and killed them, 6-2, because we wanted revenge on somebody, and Bolton was the team. Followed that up against the Arsenal under-23s, and we beat them. So still still in the uh, still in the Papa John's Southern Group trophy. Papa John's. Has a trophy. Then Colchester, 3-0. 
Swindon, 2-0, Notts County, 3-0. You could you get a theme here, right? <laughs> and that brings us here to Bradford City, which I was bringing us here because, you know, our good old buddy um, is still here, Lucas Ingram. But apparently they're also in third place. So this is actually a relevant game to what we want to do. Good job, t- good job, uh, game, for actually wanting to bring us a match we want to see. So, third place, how do we want to line up? Well, here's the tactic. It's very similar to what you've seen. Uh, that's actually what the quick pick tells us to do. Um, we have a few injuries. Slater got hurt. Leviticus is injured, but coming back to fitness. And uh, Connor Gold is also hurt and is coming back to fitness. Is he? Eight? He's 19 now. Oh, my God. I remember when he was like 16 in our academy. Anyways, this is how we're going to line up the usual. Ba, Ungaranu, Collins. Collins and Peterson have been kind of like going back and forth, but Collins has kind of made this position his own, probably because of that 17 passing. Not going to lie. 17 passing has a lot to do with it. Also, we spend a lot of money on him. So that. Bowen, uh, Barnes, Carnival. Ferguson, Montez, Gabby, who, you want to know what? We're going to remove this. Since we did this, and this has become a thing here, uh, Google Translate. G-A, or G-E-B-B-I-E. How do you, Jebby. Jebby? Jebby. Really? Really? Jebby. I think his first name is Graham. It's Graham. Graham Jebby. I like Gabby better. Whatever. Jebby. Jebby it is. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be calling him Jebby. Graham Jebby. Jackson. Uh, Joe Jackson and Watts. The Brentshaw, Fraser Ross, the Jelly Man, <laughs> Zach Flack, Vertoshi Sakurai, Xavier Pons, Antigua, and Ricky Boys. God, I love that name, Ricky Boys. So good. So good. Now I gotta go into the tactical meeting because I totally messed that up. Here's the team again. Just, just yes, I want to proceed. Just jump right in. Just jump right into it, James. You, you, you haven't messed any of this up. This has been going swimmingly. This is going absolutely swimmingly. Adam Watts. I didn't even check if that guy was on the bench, if Ingram was on the bench. I hope he's on the bench. I hope he gets the, I hope he shows up. They let him play today. I'd love to play against him again. Ungaranu, come on, man. You gotta feel it. By the way, we've been packing this place. They love it. First versus third. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, yep, he is not on the field to start with, but possibly on the bench for Bradford City. As that was a short highlight. Okay, and here we go. Jackson on the ball finds Bowen, who gets it to Collins. Who? Oh, come on, ref! Did he call that? This is a free kick. Carnival doesn't matter. Andre Carnival, his third of the season. He's good at free kicks. I didn't know that. I mean, he really, whew, the wall didn't really do anything there. Great bend on that one. Holy crap. And Carnival's not good at free kicks. He's good at free kicks. Who knew? I totally did because I definitely signed him on loan and not because we just wanted to have another body in the center of midfield. I did my scouting of him. And not just because Lester gave him to us for free. And he was really good. <laughs> And he looked really good and had high star ratings and stuff. So anyways, Montez to Ferguson here. Uh, Ungaranu. Is he going to do something? Here we go. There, oh, look. Great marauding run by Unger. Uh, just about to praise him. Just about to say he did a great job. And then he... You know, his, his loan is up in six months. I don't know if we... I don't know if we keep it. Oh, hey, maybe, maybe. That's a good pass on Garano. Uh, Collins, nope. To Gab, <laughs> to no, no, no. We know what his name is. It's not Gabby. It's, it's what is it? It's freaking. 
No, it's Jebby. Jebby, not Gabby. Remember that, James. It's Jebby. Jebby. Like with a J, except it's G-E. Why are the weird names? Jebby. Ungaranu. To for example. I could, I could do Ungaranu. Bod. Heads it down to Ungaranu. And Jebby. Jebby heads it down. Joe Jackson on to Cooper here. Hoof the ball forward. Montez is there. Finds Jebby to Bowen. To Carnival. To Jackson. I, f I feel a cross is coming in here soon. Collins. Ungaranu. How? 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 Are they saying that Ba interfered? Game. That was that. That was not offside game. I mean, Ungaranu just about had it. I'm not upset. I'm not sad. Just disappointed. That's all I am. I'm just disappointed. It could have been so much better. Uh, Carnival having a great game. Collins. Not so much. Really, Collins? I guess it's all right. I know you're capable of doing it better. You are bad, but you can improve. You have faith. Just tell them, just always tell them you have faith. You have faith. Listen to some George Michaels. Get down with it. Everybody's happy. 3,709. That's that nice. That's like 80% full of our ground. Actually, that might be our ground maximum because it's like downgraded while we're upgrading it before we get up to 5,000. Barnes, anyways. And uh, Jebby misses the header. I don't have Google Translate on over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Bradford City haven't had a shot. That's because Jebby's doing his job, along with Montez. We have to start thinking about making changes. Uh, yeah, I think it's time. Time to make some changes. What are we going to do? We'll step on down. We'll take Montez off, and we'll get the Jelly Man in, because <laughs> that's going to be a thing. Uh, also, we just want to see him... Uh, we just want to see him go. Because Jebby sounds awesome. Bon Sakurai... Uh, let's just leave Ungaranu out there. I kind of want to take him off, but I kind of don't. Bowen. You know what? Let's, that's fine. Let's just make those two changes. Just take the yellow cards off. Go a little bit more attacking, just to see. I'd love to see a free kick to see Jellyman get on it. But Jebby's having a great game, too. Come on, Ungarano. You got, you're like 1.1 1 .1 away from that 70. Okay. Now Jebby is tired. But Jackson... I don't have anybody to take over for Jackson, so Jebby it is. Pones, come on in. Now we got a really... <laughs> we went from having like six foot two. Oh, here we go. Barnes. Oh, Jelly! Jellyman misses. Carnival's goal is disallowed. Oh, that's too bad. I had it. We had it. Jellyman was there. Look, it just rises like a salmon above everybody else. Six foot six, man. But I'll ask not to be. Four minutes of added time. It's just going to tick away. And that's all she wrote. Great win for us. Did they even ever... They had two shots not on target. We had 12 shots on target. 32 overall. 14 off target. Hmm. It's help. 14 shots off target. 12 on target. 26. That how is that 30? One, I don't need to, don't need to know, don't need to know. And they didn't even bring him on. Oh, now we're sad. That's good. Good win for us, guys.
I was third. They were third place. And we made them look like chumps. At home, no less. So. That was a 1-0 win. Defense climbed, clapped down. That's because of uh, Jebby. Yes, I am going to keep doing this until I can get the name right. I did that with Ungarano, and that worked out great. Ah, uh, Josh Barkley. Yes. Soon. Bixley. Soon. You could be mine. Anywho. 20 game unbeaten. Who is it? Barnes? Barnes is always getting these man of the match awards. You're superb in front. What was he? What did he do? He did a lot of good things. I mean, he does he does stuff. Describe it like two. Who's the top scorer? Bah. Who's the top average rating guy? Jointly Jebby. And uh Barnes. Who has the most assists? Barnes. Okay. Man of the match. Barnes. Shoutouts. Watts. Yellow cards. Eh, we don't care. So, competitions. South End and Ipswich. That's right, Frazier doesn't play for Ipswich anymore. He got uh, he got bought by Leeds for $6.5 million. We got two people go for $6.5 million this year. Huh. And good for us. That's why we put on those sell-on clauses. Uh, when do we want to come back? What do you guys want to see? What's interesting? What would be a good game? Let's figure this out. Port Vale, South End, nah, 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 nah. We'll come back around here. Early November. We'll figure that out. Either Ipswich, Bar, or Burn. So until then, I've been James, you've been you. This has been Corby Town. Have a good one, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye!